on Mars is not a question of if, but when. Here in Ladakh, Earth already feels like another planet. Here's where explorers, adventurers, scientists from all walks of life have united for one goal, to find out how one day humans could live on Mars. The Between Two Worlds program by Protoplanet brings hand-picked crew members for this exclusive expedition, supported by these solid SUVs behind me, the Thar Rocks and the Scorpio N, our backbone for this mission. Before we climb higher, our first task is to slow down. High altitude orientation and medical briefings ensure that the team can take care of what lies ahead. Thin air, extreme cold and an unforgiving terrain that mirrors Mars itself. In just a couple of hours, we've climbed about 6,000 feet from Leh. We are at Tanglangla Pass, one of the highest motorable passes in the world. From here, we head down Leh Manali Highway and turn left at the brink towards Sokar. That's our base for the next few days. Yesterday was all about preparation, getting our bodies used to 11,500 feet above sea level. Acclimatization isn't just a suggestion here, it's survival. We checked blood oxygen levels, kept physical activity to a minimum, and let Ladakh's thin air do its work. We're driving towards Sokar, our base for the Himalayan outpost for planetary exploration. This is where science meets exploration. Ladakh Sokar Basin is one of the closest Martian analogues on Earth. Here, under the guidance of planetary scientists and artists, we are learning to read rocks, study ancient lake beds and sketch this alien-like terrain. Skills that astronauts will one day use on Mars. Ladakh gives us an excellent opportunity to simulate Moon and Mars conditions to support future planetary missions. Our team is here in Sokar, this high-altitude glacial basin where we are establishing HOPE, Himalayan outpost for planetary exploration to train the next generation of explorers. These Mahindras are our lifelines. The rocks and the Scorpio N are hauling people, gear and supplies across brutal high altitude trails. Without them, the expedition simply wouldn't be possible. Rocks like the ones here are the storybook of planets. By studying them, we can work out the history of the planets we're looking at. In over 40 years of doing geology, it is my view that Ladakh is one of the best places in the world to do this, to understand our planets and to get ready for Mars. Ladakh's dark skies are truly amazing, untouched by modern pollution. Uh, you can look into the galaxy and you can see the past and the future. Field sketches may seem old-fashioned, but for astronauts on Mars, they'll be vital tools. Recording terrain, mapping hazards and building a connection with an alien world. This is not just a name, it, this is how exactly this place Ladakh feels like and I would love to come here again. I had a great time visiting Sokar Lake and learning more about geology and the region of Ladakh. I hope to come back here again soon. I'm teaching field geology to the students of University of Ladakh. And I want you to come here at Sokar and experience Martian analog system on Earth. As we were building the concept of spacehood bound India and between two worlds and how do we run it with a very strong partner, we felt Mahindra really fit the bill. 
because we believe in the same ethos of exploring the impossible. Extremely grateful for the vehicles that were provided and that led to the success of both the expeditions. So near yet so far. It's as far as we can go. Right behind me, about 500 meters away, is the HAB. A human isolation study is happening right now, day four, and they're simulating life on Mars. You can't go close to them because there are no humans on Mars. And that's why we have to stay in their blind spot. But it's happening right there. This expedition isn't just a journey across Ladakh, it's a journey into the future. Between Two Worlds brings together science, culture and adventure to prepare us for a life on Mars. It takes us one step closer to understanding how humanity could survive beyond our planet or even thrive.